let's say you want to make a quantity break or a tiered quantity uh, discount so you can do it you create a uh, a rule uh, for each tier that you would like for example buy one item get 10% buy two item get 20% buy three items get 30% so each tier will require one rule a rule is okay you go there inside our app you select the discount you type in exactly what it is so you would need three discounts um, I have 10% off and I will select the number of items being three because this is my biggest tier and I would like it to be considered first to be checked first by your app script and uh, I could also restrict to some specific product or collection or uh, or, or uh, triggered based on some product tag or product type or vendors or var if it contains variant title you know blue or large or whatever and then uh, I will uh, create a group. My group will be uh, tiered quantity, for example. And will be a new group. I will publish it or put it in test mode. And I'll save it and create a new group. And I have a lot of groups in my store, uh, but uh, you might have only one. And then you could add more. So I will add more. I will select um, another discount, for example, 20 off. And I will select the cart items to be bigger than two or to equal two. And uh, same as before, I'll make sure it's in the same group. And I'll save. And I should have my two rules. Actually, here it's a bit bad because I selected 10%, should be 30%. But you understand, I mean, the logic. And if you go. If you would like to uh, reorder, because like I said here, uh, the bigger, the biggest one will be checked first, and then it will fall back to the other rule below. So let's say this one is bigger than that one, you can move it. So the 10, 20% off will be checked before the 10% off. So the two items will be checked before the one item. And that's pretty much it.